You're recording? Okay. Welcome to episode 8 of the Molehill Report. This time broadcasting directly from a noisy cafe in Paris, enjoying a piano. In this episode, we have excerpts from an interview with Sans Culotte, a collective working in graphics, multimedia, and animation. We were closely involved with the development of Breakcore in Berlin and made many contributions to Praxis and Datacite. I think it was the, the energy mostly from the, of the music as well as um, the people involved with it. I totally love this, that it's like unstable and, and chaotic and you never know what's coming next and it sort of keeps you on your toes all the time, like when you're dancing, it's sort of totally energizing. They all uh, happened in interesting locations like squats or other weird um, underground um, locations, not in um, official clubs. So they have been affordable and interesting and uh, we went to all of all what we could find, yeah. <laughs> basically. And also like punk had this um, DIY thing, so you were, you know, you were in invited to uh, contribute always, it wouldn't punk wouldn't like you know be produced and you'd consume and I found the same thing with Breaker as well like we were very much invited to contribute. Yeah and the scene was friendly I yeah. mean the people were really open and freaky and, uh, um, and, and it was and it was not a closed circle it was um, it felt natural that we switched to uh, organizing um, this is at these events as well and I mean, I really enjoyed organizing this party. It was really uh, exciting times. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the crowd was cool, the party was cool, the locations. Um, yeah, it felt uh, really good. Yeah. Yeah, so the idea was because we were going to parties mostly in order to dance, the idea was a bit to have the um, images dancing to the music and the setup evolved around that. The videos we, we developed like some restrictions, uh, first there was a um, the color restriction, we only use black, white and red, that has an aesthetic approach but as well a practical approach so that um, because we worked with different people the material produced by different people in different styles would still match together because the color matches. Uh, and when we got like uh, when we planned for a music video or a trailer we always had a story in mind so the narrative element is quite crucial uh, to us even if the narrative or the story is in an um, abstract surreal way um, we follow uh, some hidden line and then we line we lay this out and the image somehow comes together and we need it together so that's and I, I I think the party trailers is something different I really like doing them because before we did um, already a lot of or we still do party flyers what is very static and the party trailer there you have um, music snippet from music what you will actually hear on the party you can illustrate it in a I don't know freaky way you can experiment it's little mm -hmm. very quickly done uh, uh, videos and yeah, I like it. If we, if we do a music video, we sort of we go from the story and see what images it attracts and then we layer these images on top of each other until it's all flickering and flashing. Strips 
mission ends now. Check out the full interview with Son Culotte on our channel. Finally, we're very happy to announce that the book Everything Else is Even More Ridiculous, collecting the complete issues of Dataside 1 to 10, is back in print and available again. This bastard. This bastard. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we have not a proper crack here. Yeah. The, the future, future is cancelled. <laughs> Oh fuck, das ist wirklich ruhig gewesen, solche Quatschköpfe. Das ist unglaublich. Ja.